why why is Leo's name in this woman's mouth so much? Why is it? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why is my husband's name in your mouth? I'm gonna cut you out, Poppy. You better watch it. y'all it's Jess welcome back to the channel today we are doing an episode of unread Sarah's secret we're gonna try a new unread series today y'all know the last unread series that I did was unsolved and I didn't like the ending I did not like the ending at all for unsolved I don't I, I think it was unsolved like I really think it was unsolved like I should have been prepared because of the title but I was not I thought we were gonna have a I thought we was gonna have a resolution. It don't matter, it don't matter. A couple of y'all have been commenting about Sarah's secret. Listen, I'm here for y'all. I am here for y'all, whatever y'all want, okay? <laughs> I'm going to do it. So I don't know a lot about Sarah's secret, but this is what the, this is what episode one is about. Let's see. After a night out for her husband's birthday, Sarah confides in her best friend about something that happened. And that's all we got. <laughs> That's all we got. Listen, let's connect to Sarah's phone. Let's figure out what the secret is, y'all. Okay, y'all, can change strobe lighting and effects. Okay, Sarah's party. Sarah was out all night. Okay. 15 hours later, y'all. Okay, we got kids, y'all. We Sarah, we got kids. Okay, we got the phone of Sarah. Over the next eight days, we'll discover what happens through their messages. We'll get new messages throughout the day, like in real life, okay? And unlock special messages with keys and coins, okay? Next messages in one minute. Okay, let's read the current... Look at all these. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about how, how unread be making me pay for everything okay hold on y'all i blocked my mama wait a minute <laughs> i want to click on this and see i don't know we gonna scroll up 57 days ago mom said sarah it's mom how are you and then i respond 55 days ago she said if i got the right number <laughs> then the next day mom again are you getting my text and then the next day she called me next day she said talk to me please miss call i am Y'all, I am ghosting my mama, leaving my mama on red. Do you hear me? Okay, 42 days ago, she said, Sarah, please, you're an adult now. I said, what's that supposed to mean? And she said, Sarah, hi. <laughs> I said, how you get this number, girl? And she said, your grandmother gave it to me. I said, I told her not to. Grandma, Nana running her mouth. Mom said, don't blame Jean. I said, I don't. I blame you for wheedling your way back in. God knows what lies you told her to get my number. And mom said, it doesn't have to be like this. I said, I thought I made myself clear last time. And she said, it's been years. You're an adult now. I said, yeah, you keep saying that. What you getting at? That I'll just forget how you cheated on dad and ran off with your boss. With your boss. Forget how you effed our family. Forget how you left me. I was your little girl. I needed my mom. Mama, you living scandalous. You living foul out here, bro. Mom said, you need to know that I was weak, Sarah, but there's not a day that's gone by when I haven't thought of you. What you're doing with your life, what a beautiful young woman you've become. I carry this with me everywhere. It's a picture of me. <laughs> okay. Okay, and I left her on red. Look, girl, I don't care about none of that. Mom said, are you still there? I said, I don't want to hear you say these things. She said, why? And I said, it hurts. She said, the last thing I want is to upset you, but there's things you don't know about me and your dad. I thought when you got older, you might understand. I didn't set out to hurt him or you. We weren't happy. Your father is not an easy man to love. I said, don't you dare slag him off to me. You find a way to make it work. You just don't turn your back. She said, I thought when you got older, you might understand. Now that you're an adult, you mean. Why she keep calling me an adult now? What you trying to say, sis? I said, I am an adult. And you know what I've learned? That family is the most important thing. So you make sacrifices and put your children first. And mom said, I was breaking down. I lost myself and didn't know where to turn. Have you any idea what that feels like? To feel totally alone in your marriage? I said, I do actually. She said, what do you mean? I said, but I'll never be you. And mom said, are you okay, Sarah? 
I said, I was your little girl and you left me. And I blocked her. Girl, mama, you don't get to, you don't get to jump back into my life, mama, after you left me. You might not have been happy with my daddy, but that don't mean you lead a kid. That don't mean you lead a kid, mama. We're going to unlock this group chat. Um, I want to know what they've been talking about. Good Lord, they've been talking a lot. Crystal said, welcome to sh new arrivals. This is an all girls group to talk sex secrets and anything that matters to women. Introduce yourself if you feel comfortable, but also feel free to observe. And I said, hi girls, I'm Sarah, full-time housewife and mom from East London. Found a link to join, excited to be here. Crystal said, welcome Sarah, I'm Crystal, admin, married mom too, live in Southwest London. And Demi said, hey Sarah, I'm Demi, I'm East too and working in PR. I've been single forever and mingle 24-7. Okay, Mia said, Demi has a whole army of men to DM. And Demi said, what can I say? I like to play the field. Okay, so this is just a girl group chat. This is a girl group chat. I'm gonna scroll down to see if there's some tea here. Okay, y'all, hold on, this is me. I said, a few years ago, my husband surprised me and took me on this picnic on Hampstead Heath. Oh shoot, we know where Hampstead Heath is from scripted. <laughs> we got drunk and ended up swimming in the pond together. So much fun. Okay, Jay said, a few years ago, Jesus Christ, I need romance at least once a week to keep me happy. I want constant attention and entertainment. Like, yo, I'm here. Okay, so I think Sarah, we're Sarah, right? I think that Sarah is, um, she's bored in her marriage, I guess, maybe. I text, I said, are, are you all on this Zing site then? And Jay said, why, thinking of joining Sarah? I said, LOL, like I have the time. No, one thing I draw the line at is cheating. Zara said, not always as simple as that though, is it? Not in this day and age. Okay. Being faithful forever must be really effing hard. Jay said, talking from experience. Vic said, no, but I just mean, I never thought I would, but now my ex is dangling the carrot. This group chat kind of messy. <laughs> they talk about cheating and stuff. This group chat, you might have some tea in it. Okay, six days ago, I said, ladies, I really need someone to talk to. Crystal said, what's the matter, hon? I said, I'm hiding in the bathroom right now so my kids don't see me cry. Mia said, OMG, what happened? I said, the kids won't go to bed, my little one won't stop crying, and my husband's late from work again. I just can't cope anymore. My head's pounding and I can barely keep my eyes open. Katie said, you need to try and relax before you break down, hon. I said, but the worst thing is that when he is here, I feel totally invisible to him. Do you ever feel like that with your husband, Crystal? <laughs> Crystal said, no, girl, my husband love me. <laughs> she said, can't relate. Demi said, have you got any friends that can come over? I said, yes, but I feel like I'm losing them too. The other week I wanted to go out with them, but he got mad because he hadn't seen me all week. It had nothing to do with that and everything to do with the fact that he hates me going out. So I canceled. My friends will stop inviting me soon. Katie said, bang out of order. Jay said, how long has it been like this? And I said, a couple years. Not a couple years, girl. That is no way to live. You in jail. This is jail. Crystal said, have you tried telling him how you feel? I said, I tried, but then as soon as I sense it turning into an argument, I shut up. After 12 years together, I feel like he should just know when I'm upset. Zara said, men aren't wired like us and you can't always expect them to know. They have blinkered vision sometimes. Okay, y'all. So we are in a trash relationship, it sounds like. Okay, y'all, let's go to the Leo's birthday chat. Okay, so in this group, we got Dom, Jack, Baz, and Sybil. What's this? Okay, Dom is a, he's a headliner or something. Is he a DJ? I don't know what he is. <laughs> okay, Jack said Leo's gonna be buzzing. It's been a nightmare keeping the surprise from him at work. I said, I still think he prefers something low key like the pub. Dom said the wife has spoken. Okay, so Leo is my husband, y'all. Dom said, too much under the thumb to throw shapes. I said, here we go again. Jack said, I prefer to be under Sarah's thumb than most other girls. And Baz said, can I just say that Leo doesn't throw shapes, he robots. And Jack said, here he is, the Bass Meister. Sybil said, late night Bass. And he said, yeah, hooked up with this hottie. Okay, what hottie? Okay, you ain't gonna show the face? You ain't gonna show the face, um, Bass? Bass said he was nearly as wild as this fella. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I said, don't. It's the only move he knows. 
And Jack said, too much information, Sarah. I said, it's the VIP area sorted, Dom. And Dom said, pulled a few strings, yeah. They don't call him DJ Dominatrix for nothing. <laughs> no one calls me that. <laughs> Sip said, whatever, they do now. Played this in Ibiza last month. I'm not going to be able to play that for y'all. <laughs> That's music. And I know it's copyrighted. I know it's copyrighted. So... It's music. It was house music, y'all. Sybil said, how does it feel being back in the homeland? Dom said, cold and quiet. I so don't get why you trade Ibiza for East London. And Dom said, why not? Y'all, I've been to Ibiza. It's lit. It's lit. <laughs> I've been to Ibiza. Jack said, reckon you and Leo will be able to keep up with the pace tomorrow, Sarah? And I said, we're married, not dead. <laughs> okay, y'all. So yesterday I said, hey guys, just so you know, Griff's coming tonight. Dom said, who? And <laughs> Jack said, what kind of name is that? Sib said, a hot one. Okay. Okay, this Griff, y'all. Jack said, oh, come. Who is this prick? Sib said, this prick is training me and Sarah. I said, working on my muffin top. And Bass said, thank God. <laughs> okay. He's new to the city and a really nice guy. Okay, so Griff is coming, y'all. Griff, my personal trainer, is coming to my husband's birthday celebration at this club sib says sarah's been hitting the gym big time these days it's like hotline griff for the one-on-ones do you like text your pts is that normal i said what he's just a friend bad says so not normal it's all on the apps these days i said right see you all at m bar for 8 30. not m bar ain't that where what's call it what you call it diet <laughs> um what's her name amy Amy from the first story, the first unread story. Bass said it's about to go down, 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 down. Okay, then Jack added Leo to the group. Okay, okay, so Leo's in the group, y'all. This Leo's birthday, my husband, it's his birthday. He didn't got added to the group. Share your pics in here for Leo. Leo said, I'm mashed. Sib said, yes, some bukas. Where the F is my shoe? Okay, so they all drunk. Yeah, because it's like 10 o'clock, 1030. So they all drunk now, y'all. Bass said, I lost a kidney and my wallet. No, I didn't. It's now in my pants. <laughs> Leo said, anyone seen Sarah? Oh, shoot. That's 1042, y'all. Bass said, dancing with Grifster the unit. I'm dancing with my trainer in front of... Hold on. Check out these bad boys. Yo. Is that me? <laughs> Is that me? Leo said, reunited, big broski, on fire, Leo. Okay. Okay. All right, here go the day, y'all. This was midnight. And look who's finally graced us with his presence. Hey, oh, hey. my husband that ain't my husband no that's my husband in the white shirt right that's me on the right then my husband in the middle and then dom on the left maybe <laughs> and then baz is the black man baz said i can't believe we partied that hard on a school night and i gotta go to work why didn't anyone stop me doing shots and sib said you said tequila makes you happy i said it was so good to see you all Bass said, you and Leo should come out to play more often, Missy. And Jack said, I don't think Leo will be able to keep up with the pace on a regular basis. Bass said, LOL, how mad that your old boss was at the bar last night, Sarah. I said, I know, right? Bass said, he's a proper fox. How long has it been since you last saw him? I said, a couple years. He said, what do you have to say? Is he going to offer you another job? I said, not much. I don't think so. Right now, I need to carve up pronto and make the kids breakfast. Jack said, tell Leo to get the F up. We got new motors coming in today. I know Leo can make some breakfast. Leo said, I'm hanging big time. I'll be at the garage in 20 minutes, Jack. Jack said, I'll be gentle with you, sunshine. And Leo said, thanks for coming last night, guys. I can't remember much. 
Jack said, so what's everyone's plans for the day from hell? Sib said, being a slave to my butthole boss. <laughs> Watch that slave talk, Sib. Jack said, ouch, I don't envy personal assistance. Sib said, after that, I'll kick the mess out of a bag at the gym. And Bad said, but at least you get a one-on-one -on -one with the muscle almighty. Jack said, tell you what, I know I took the piss about Griff before I met him, but what a sound guy. And Bad said, for sure, he's welcome anytime we party. Okay, so Griff then made some friends. Okay. That boy's got some serious swagger. He defo gives me a run for my money. Competition, eh, Jackie boy? And Jack said, nah, I still pull. <laughs> okay. So Griff is a friend to everybody now. Okay, let's look at Leo's messages, y'all. Leo's my husband, right? He's my husband. Today, he said, hey, gorgeous. Just wanted to let you know that I love you and can't wait for date night later. I said, where's this come from? He said, do I need a reason? I said, no, I literally can't wait to get dressed up and spend time together. He said, it's exactly what we need. I said, shall I meet you in the restaurant bar? And he said, yeah, I'll be there for eight and I'll even scrub up for you. I said, ooh, shirt, tie, the works. <laughs> Leo said, you know it. I said, can I use the joint card to get my hair done, please? He said, go on then. I said, thank you. Okay. Okay. So I had to ask permission to, to get my hair done. Okay. <laughs> so y'all, I think Sib is my best friend. So I need to scroll up and read the tea. I feel like it's some tea in this chat and I just, I just need to read it for myself. Okay, 25 days ago, Sybil said, are you coming to the gym today? I said, Leo thinks it's a waste of money. She said, BS, you were really excited. I said, I know, but he earns the money. And Sib said, and you look after him and the children. Right. Don't let anyone make decisions for you, babe. And I said, I'm not. And she said, and yet you can't have anything for yourself. I said, Leo wants to save. I've got to respect that. Sib said, he goes to the pub. <laughs> And I said, it's cool, Sib. I'll download a workout. If I do it from home, it means I can do the washing at the same time. Okay, girl. Sib said, the whole point is for you to get out of the house. Okay, so Leo is... Leo controls the purse strings around here. So, okay. Okay, 22 days ago, I said, so me and Leo went to counseling. Sib said, WTF, that's so not you. I said, I know, and the worst thing is the council records every single session and sends them for us to watch back. Well, that's messy. <laughs> that is messy. Right, Sim said, that's pretty extreme. Why didn't you say things that got that bad? I said, I didn't want you thinking less of me. Sim said, this is me, no judgment, girl. I said, it was brutal, Sib. He lied about how often he goes to the pub and acted like the fact he doesn't come home early enough isn't a big deal. But worst of all, he said, the spark has gone and I'm distant. And Sib said, is that true? I said, yes, because I don't feel like a person anymore. She said, of course you don't. He only sees you as a mom. He said he used to love my confidence. So why the hell did he mess all over it by making me give up work for years? And Sib said, because there's no way he'd put you first and be a stay at home dad. I said, I was so angry. I wanted to scream and tell him how much I resented giving up my job. He never asked me what I really want. But I just sat there like a fool. Sib said, why? I said, because I didn't want to fail like my mom did. What right do I have to complain? He works so hard and I love him for everything he's given us. Sib said, but it's not enough if he's not emotionally there for you, period. I said, how can I tell how unhappy I am? And Sib said, tell him straight. Your life does not belong to him. I said, I need him to pull his weight with the kids. I need to get out into London sometimes, you know? And Sim said, that's not too much to ask. I said, Leo hates trying new things. He hates the city. He told me last week he wants to move to the country one day. <laughs> Sim said, boo, screw that. I said, he makes me feel old. And I know that's a horrible thing for me to say, but it's true. Sim said, she's still in there, you know, Sarah Badass Jones. I said, LOL, if you can see her, tell her to get a haircut. <laughs> and Sim said, if I could wave a magic wand, what would you wish for? He said, I want to feel love and excitement again. And Sib said, I'm sure he does love you. I said, then why do I feel so lonely all the time? I know it's selfish of me to want more from life. And Sib said, how is it? I said, because I made the choice to get married and have kids young. And Sib said, but that doesn't mean you have to forget who you are. Period, Sib. I like Sib. She's a good friend. I like her. Okay, 21 days ago, Sib sent a screenshot of an email saying... I'm pleased to confirm the membership of your friend, Miss Sarah Louise Fitzgerald. Membership is active of today, and there's the membership number. Okay. 
I said, what's that? OMG, you better not have done what I think you have. As Sib said, I know, I'm fabulous. And your book with the new PT. Y'all, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Um, Griff. He, she booked me with Griff. I said, OMG, thank you. And she said, now there's no excuse not to make time for yourself. I said, you're a total sweetheart. Sib said, the savior of women, I know. <laughs> I said, I don't know what Leo's going to think. And Sib said, if he's got a problem, tell him he can. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, but period, Sib. And she said, or just keep it quiet. I said, I have to tell him. It'll be fine. Okay. And then 17 days ago, I said, so this PT Griff you hooked me up with, he's quite flirty. And Sib said, I know. I thought he'd do you some good. I said, you're terrible. But listen, he sent me an email with my workout plan. But some of the things he said, I feel like he's going to be trouble. And she said, occupational hazard. Oh, shoot. We, we got to unlock that email. I'm sure I got that email. We need to unlock it. Okay. 15 days ago, Sib said, saw this on the way home and thought of you at counseling. How was it? I said, I tried to be honest and Leo didn't like it. Just proves I can't tell him how I really feel. Sib said, what'd you say? I said that we don't spend time together and he's never there. And Sib said, truth hurts. I said he was going on about how marriage meant making sacrifices. And I know he was comparing me to how his mom never works. I'm lying to everyone all the time, acting like we're this perfect family. Sib said that stop lying and start being real with him. I said, and let everyone down? You don't get it. You've never had a relationship. <laughs> Sib said, thank you for reminding me, girl. Right. <laughs> And Sim said, if I did, I wouldn't let myself get treated like a piece of garbage. That part. <laughs> that part. Because what you're not going to do is shade Sim and then not expect the shade back, girl. I said, harsh. And she said, I just don't need reminded I'm single, okay? I said, but you're always so relaxed about it. She said, that doesn't mean I want it carved on my gravestone. Being single is scary as F. It's all risk-taking, game-playing, and soul-destroying. Girl, listen, you preaching to the choir over here. <laughs> The suggestions i said but you're free she said i want to be free and loved okay eight days ago i said i just walked out of counseling still and i don't know where to go it's so obvious that i don't satisfy him in bed anymore and he doesn't get that i need to feel love before i open my legs everything came out i haven't been honest with you and bass but i need to tell someone because i can't keep it in any longer leo cheated on me and the counselor made him talk about it. Good. Look, I told y'all it was some tea in here. Sib said, what the hell? How the F could he do that to you? Why didn't you tell me? I said, because I feel so ashamed that I'm putting up with it. And Sib said, why haven't you left him? I said, because there's a part of me that still believes in him. And because I can't be on my own. I can't confront him because I don't want the arguments to start. They'll never end. Just like mom and dad, when I could hear them shouting at each other, I can't break the family up like she did. I can't put Ruby and Ralph through what I went through. So I just got to pretend everything's okay. All I ever wanted growing up was a happy family. I got to block it out. Can I come over? And Sib said, like, you need to ask. Baz is here too. I said, I need a hug. <sighs> oh, Lord. Six days ago, she said, hey, how you doing? I said, okay, yeah, just planning Leo's birthday. Sib said, what's he been like? I said, distant. And Sim said, as if he has any right to be. I said, are you and Baz ready for Amsterdam? She said, just about. We'll miss you. I said, next year? She said, for sure. Call us if you need us. And I said, thanks, hon. Love you. Have the best time. And then two days ago, I said, seriously, can't wait to see your face tomorrow night. She said, time to party hard. Okay, so this was the, we, we were planning the birthday party for Leo. Okay, so today we got 88 unread messages from just today. So me and Sim, we got I I take it we got some tea to spill. Okay. Sim said, morning, babe. How's the hangover horrors? I said, don't. I was so pissed. And she said, have you got the fear yet? I said, how do you mean? She said, oh, you know the fear. The fear of the night before, like you did something you should now regret in the cold light of day. <laughs> I said, I haven't got that. I'm just hanging. That's all. She said, you sure? I said, yes, Sim. I'm fine. She said, you spent a lot of time powdering your nose. Did you have a party in the toilet or something? I said, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. She said, it begins with C and ends with an E. I know what that means. Suggestions know what it means. I said, please don't judge me, Sib. It was a one-off. Good Lord. You were actually doing drugs. 
<laughs> I thought Sin was playing, but you actually doing drugs. Okay. She said, I didn't think you were going to go through with it. And I wouldn't judge you unless something else went down that you're not telling me about. I said, like what? Sip said, you tell me. Guilt was written all over your face in the taxi on the way home. I said, I really don't know what you're talking about, girl. I was smashed in the taxi. Don't even remember the ride. Sip said, I remember it. I remember the tension. I used to think men were better at hiding things than women. But that eye contact between you two was something else. Good job, Leo was asleep. Eye contact? Was it Griff? <laughs> was it Griff? Sip. I said, what are you getting at, Sip? Do you know something? Sip said, I suspect something but I could be way off the mark. I said, you're not. Let's just talk about this over the phone. She said, yes, let's. I said, I'll call you when I can. She said, I think that's a good idea. Are you ready to make your confession to me? I said, don't joke, Sib, this is serious. And she said, I know it is, lady. Call me now. Hold on. Do we have, oh shoot, y'all, hold on. Hold on, cause look, I'ma get to the bottom of it. Hey, Sib. Hey, babes. Has Leo gone to work? Are you alone? Yeah, he's just left. Okay. So are you going to tell me what really happened last night with you know who? Sib, I don't even know if I can say it. I just... I don't even recognize who that version of that girl was of last oh. night. I just... Oh my God, but just tell me what you did. Did you have some kind of argument? Was it about the coke? Mm. Not the... I kissed him. <gasps> he kissed me, but it's not like I stopped it. What? What the fuck, Sarah? I know. Are you I crazy? Know. It was his, your husband's birthday. Oh, oh my Sid, god! I know. You don't need to fucking rub it in. Oh I know I lost my head. Okay, I know. Uh, oh my god, Sarah. I, I, how, how did this even happen? How? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It just did. And the thing is, I fucking wanted it to. And I don't even know what the hell oh this means. Oh my god. Are you serious? What's going on with you right now? Sib, I know it's wrong. I know. Oh my god. But in the moment, I just didn't give a crap. He was saying all this stuff to me. Yeah. And I just felt really good. And then we kissed and it felt fucking amazing. Babes. Sarah... I have to ask you something. What? Have you got feelings for him? No. Uh, no, I mean, of course not. Uh huh. Because I, I don't need to tell you how dangerous this would be, right? Like how... I know, mm -hmm. I know, Sib, I know. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep the whole night. I literally feel sick to my stomach. Well, babes, come on. Leo's hardly a saint himself, you know, so... Right. Sib, I don't know what to do, like... I need to tell him, don't I? Like, it's no, the right thing to do, right? No, no, like, no, if no, I don't, no, he'll just find no, out anyway. No, 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 oh, Listen, listen to me, Sarah. If you tell Leo your marriage, it will be over. Do you think he'll just no. roll over and forgive you? No, this is not happening. Yeah, but what if he already saw us? Uh, so maybe he's already suspect something. He didn't. I'm sure, like, the time you were in the toilet, we were probably doing shots in the bar, so I'm sure he didn't. And you know what? I'm sure. Yes, and, and... It was just a drunken kiss, you know? Drunken kiss? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. It was, it was just a drunken kiss. It meant nothing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it meant nothing. Good girl. Yes, that's my Sarah. Okay, Sarah, I'm gonna have to cut you off, but I need to go to work. So I'll text you later, okay? Okay, babe. Take care, okay? Love you. I'll speak to you later. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sib, it was just a drunken kiss. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Sib said, I'm glad you told me. I said, so am I. And she said, and just for the record, I understand why you did it. And I said, thanks. She said, are you still coming to the gym? We can talk in private after. I said, I don't think that's a good idea. Plus, I'm getting my hair done. And Sib said, about time. Why is she shading her like that? <laughs> that bun needs to just go. I said, it's practical with the kids. She said, who gives a F? You got beautiful hair. Let it loose and wild again. How you feeling about things? I said, LOL, maybe. Awful. I'm a horrible person. I know I am. 
Sip said, you're not. You just made a mistake. Have you heard anything from him? I said, nope, nothing. And I'm glad. I couldn't even look Leo in the eye this morning. And Sip said, are you going to do anything? Sarah, I said, I'm going to forget it ever happened. And she said, that's probably wise. I said, what makes it worse is that Leo's being so sweet today. He planned this date night tonight. I just want things to be better between us. And Sip said, then give him one last chance if you really believe Leo can change. I said, he's done nothing bad, or at least for a few weeks anyway. And she said, let's pray his good behavior continues. I don't think you should tell Baz about last night, by the way. I'm worried he might get drunk one day and spill. I said, he can be a loose cannon sometimes. Sip said, I think tell him when you see him in person so he can process it. I said, good plan. And she said, do you want to borrow my sexy black dress tonight? I said, think I'm a bit too momsy for that. She said, screw that. I'll drop it over later and turn you from mom to yum. Just leaving the hairdresser. Wish me luck. Okay, then I said, quick question. What do you think of my childminder poppy? <laughs> Sip said, bat crazy. I said, apart from that. She said, what's worse than that? I said, she been watching the stories from last night, texting me and making comments. I think she has a thing for Leo. And Sip said, rather her than me. Ignore her. She's jealous of you, babe. Let's, let us look at the stories and then we gonna look at what Poppy said, okay? Okay, here's Dom's story, y'all. Dom was the DJ. DJing tonight for little bro's birthday at the M bar, okay? Missing these sunny bot. Missing these sunny vibes, Ibiza. Where's my tan going? I'm telling y'all, Ibiza is nice. <laughs> Ibiza is nice. Okay, y'all, I can't play. There's music behind this, but I can't play the music. Hungover AF, but still working on a new track. Okay. Okay, here's my... Here's my story, Double Trouble. Hey, guys. Hey. It's an absolutely gorgeous sunny day. That's us, y'all. And I'm just on my way to the hairdressers. Um, it just felt like a change and since I've had the kids it's just so easy to keep my hair up um, but yeah I was thinking of getting something a little less mumsy um, maybe some more highlights and a fringe um, or maybe just how I used to be I guess maybe just kind of a bit more wild and free um, I hope Leah likes it we're going out um, and we don't do that very often. Um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. Hopefully I will give you a preview of what it looks like later. Bye. Bye girl. Okay. These are the hands of a working man. Jack, yeah. Working, I might add, on his own because my partner He's over there. He hung over. That's Leo. Leo. Leonardo. Leo. Come on, sweetheart. What's up? I need your help over here. Uh, put the phone away. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing two men's work over there. What do you mean, no, I'm not? You're sitting there polishing tools. <laughs> your tool. You all right, Duck? Yeah. What's up? No. <laughs> How many beers did you have? Too many. Too many. What, three? Oh, come on, sweetheart. Hold this for a minute. I want you to know what it feels like. Come on, there you go. Use that. Come over to the car and help me do some work, will you? Right, Where work. are you going? You're the one. Oh, God, walking oh. off. He's in the right mood today. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, polishing screwdrivers and sitting on his bottom. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo, baby. I'm only joking. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Why are you such a grump for? No, no. Give us a smile, come on. Smile Give us a grin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least tell your mates, thank you. We all took you out and gave you a great night, didn't we? Yeah, yeah did you have a good time? I did have a good all time. All right, so look to the camera and say thank you very much. Come on, one smile. Thank you very much. All right. Good night. Oh, bless you. You're good enough? Yeah, it's good enough. You're going to come do some work now? <laughs> go on, say work. Hey, I'm doing work. Say work. No, I'm doing work. <laughs> I'll get back to work on my own then. Bye. Here go Griff, y'all. This the trainer. This the personal trainer, y'all. Okay, that's Leo and Sarah. 
a great night out with new friends. Not him taking a selfie with Sarah. <laughs> okay. Okay, here go my daddy finally arrived. Okay, my daddy in Italy. Okay, daddy. Okay, here go Sib. Happy birthday, Leo. Okay, here go Leo. Here we go, 28. Okay, so it was lit. It was lit last night. You hear me? Okay, um, y'all, we gonna go to Poppy because Poppy is my nanny, but apparently she been talking trash. Let's see. Actually, y'all, I'm gonna scroll up to the top because, um, I need to understand the relationship that Poppy got because I didn't see, as I was scrolling, I didn't see some red flags. So let's just see. <laughs> let's, let's read this real quick. Okay, so 21 days ago, Poppy said emergency. I've just been in the freezer and all I can find is fish fingers and smiley faces. What nutritional value is there in a frozen potato bearing the grin of Satan? <laughs> I said, girl, you for real. A bit of easy food won't do them any harm. She said, I wouldn't even offer this to a homeless person. I can feel my anxiety coming in and I can't bear to turn the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Your children need vegetables or else they'll be hanging out on street corners and failing their exams. I said, girl, what are you talking about? You are being over the top right now. She said, haven't you noticed that Ruby is developing a stroppy streak? I said, if you're refusing to give her smiley faces, I'm not surprised. And she said, Ruby's crying out for attention. I said, no, she's trying it on because there's a babysitter in the house. She said, child minder. I have an NVQ level three in childcare. I'm hugging her so tightly. What she needs is a constant supply of love. I said, she's loved to death. Both my children are. Poppy said, oh, I know. All I'm saying is Leo works so hard and it's so important the children are nourished at all times. I said, girl, they are nourished. What you talking about? She said, so I'll feed them my kale and sweet potato bites. Then she texted again, emergency. They've attacked me with my bites. There's food splattered all over the kitchen. And I'm sure I spied the first sign of the pox on Ralph. I said, OMG, really? Has he got a temperature? She said, yes, but I can't be sure it's chicken pox. It's fine. Enjoy your evening. I'll let Leo know. I said, no, don't disturb him. I'm on my way home. Then 19 days ago, I said, hi, Poppy. I spent the night at the hospital with Ralph yesterday. He hasn't got chicken pox. He had a serious re allergic reaction to the kale you insisted on feeding him. And she said, what? Oh, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I said, why couldn't you have listened to me? You put my baby boy in so much danger. I won't be needing you to look after my children again. And she said, and what does Leo think about that? He knows how good I am with the children. It was one mistake. Why, why is Leo's name in this woman's mouth so much? Why is it? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Why is my husband's name in your mouth? I'm gonna cuss you out, Poppy. You better watch it. 17 days ago, I said, Leo and I have agreed that it wouldn't be sensible changing babysitters. I thought we was gonna get Poppy up out of here, bear. <laughs> And Poppy said, I knew Leo would agree. I'll collect them as usual tomorrow. And then she corrected it to child minder. She's not a babysitter. She's a child minder. Nine days ago, I said, can you look after the children tomorrow night? They're somewhere me and Leo need to be. And she said, of course, I'll be over at five. Going anywhere nice? None of your business, right? We just going out, just out. <laughs> Mind your business. So seven days ago, she said, I tucked the children in and bred them a bedtime story. I said, I would have done that. I'm nearly home from the doctors. She said, doctors, nothing serious, I hope. I said, nope, all good, thanks. Mind your business again. She said, Leo looked very tired when he walked in. I made him something to eat. He's lost weight. I said, no, he hasn't. She said, he nearly burst after my sirloin steak. I said, steak? We didn't have steak in. She said, I popped to the supermarket and got us a bottle of wine too. I'm going to have to cuss this woman out, Anna. I'm going to have to cuss this woman out. That's what's going to happen. I, I already feel it. I already feel it in my bones. I already feel it. She said, red-blooded men need red-blooded meat and wine, LOL. I said, you just happen to be on standby with the goods. I don't pay you to feed my husband. She said, I didn't mean any harm. I said, you keep stepping over the line, girl. You about to get cussed out. Can't you see how weird your behavior is? And she said, I care about my clients. Why is that weird? I said, your responsibility is to my children, not my husband. Right. You should be minding the children, not minding my husband. You a child minder, ain't you? Then mind the children. Mind the child. Don't be minding my husband. She says, that says more about your lack of trust than my behavior. The man was hungry, so I fed him. 
I said, girl, I want you to back off before I fight you. It's totally unprofessional. She said, Leo doesn't seem to have a problem with me. I said, look, you can either back off or find another job or catch a hand to the face. Which one is it? Which one is it? This is not the first time you to piss me off, girl, and suggestions. I just met you, Poppy, and I'm already mad at you. She said, I don't understand why you're being so defensive. Are you threatened by me? I said, no, but I believe you have a crush on my husband, which makes our working relationship very awkward. Poppy said, a crush? That's ridiculous. He reminds me of my brother, that's all. I said, I want you to keep your distance from him. Focus on the children, mind the children, and think about looking for a replacement post. She said, this is crazy. I think we all need to talk about this properly. I said, there is nothing else to talk about, sis. I made my feelings clear. She said, I think you'll want to hear this. I'd really like to talk like adults sometimes. I have no romantic feelings for Leo, so I don't know why I'm being victimized. I have a boyfriend and I'm very happy. I'm sensing a lot of negative vibes from you and it will be good to discuss why. I'm guessing it must have something to do with your overall mood right now. I noticed a packet of meds in the bin. She about to get cussed out. She is about to get cussed out, bear. I noticed a packet of meds in the bin. That could be such a slippery slope. Are you struggling to cope with the children? That's even more reason to keep me around to help, isn't it? I'm assuming Leo knows you're on medication. If not, secrets are never good in a healthy marriage. Just something to think about. I said, girl, you trying to threaten me? You trying to blackmail me? She said it was merely an observation. Paranoia is another well-known side effect with a disappointed emoji. Girl, I'm gonna slap you. I am going to slap you, Poppy. <laughs> you better watch your mouth. Okay, and today I text her, I said, are you still okay to have the kids tonight while me and Leo go out for dinner? She said, yes, I'll collect them around six. Say happy birthday to Leo from me. We not. From your story, it looks like you had lots of fun last night dancing with all the guys. I said, girl, what do you mean by that? And she said, you're very popular, that's all. I said, why are you watching my stories? Why you why why am I living rent free in your head, Poppy? She said, why not? That's what social media is there for, putting everything out on display. Nothing secret on there, is it? I said, what are you talking about? She said, nothing. It just looks like you had a great night. Y'all, I'ma slap her. I'ma slap her. I'ma slap her for real. So y'all, we are gonna end it right here. There's some tea. <laughs> there is some tea happening. There is some tea happening. We didn't kiss the personal trainer, Griff. Um, I still want to read his messages as well. Um, I, I need to cut this video short. Like, I don't want this video to be too long. And then Poppy. Poppy about to get slapped. Poppy is about to get slapped. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why she in my business so much. I don't understand. I'm invested. I am invested. I'm invested. I still need to figure out who is who. <laughs> Because it's hard to figure out which one of them is Jack versus which one of them is my husband, Leo, versus what's the other man at Dom. But it's okay. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you next time. Bye.